What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. I haven't done a vlog in a while, so I thought I'd come out here and do that today. It's a beautiful day, it's sunny, there's not really that many clouds out. I'm down to one quad today because my QAV, one of the motors got messed up and it was the stator, not the rotor, so I couldn't just replace it. Now, I think maybe it shorted out. I had a pretty heavy crash last weekend into some like muddy stuff. So I'm thinking it just shorted out, but that means we're down to one quad. So we're rocking with this today. And I'm really low on props too. I only got these four on here and then I got four additional ones. And after that, I'm done. Also, I'm kind of struggling. I'm kind of sick today. So just please forgive the voice. I know it's a little bit low and probably a little raspy, but trying my best. I just wanted to bring you guys along today. Now the spot is a middle school that I haven't flown at in quite a while actually, but it's really fun. It's got these little overpass things, all this stuff to weave in and out of. It's got this stairway that's fun to kind of dive down. And then it's got a big open field over there as well as some stuff behind me too. So it's going to be a fun spot. I have flown here before, but it has been a while. So one more thing before we get started. In a couple weeks here, I'm going to be releasing a video of a 3D printed drone that I designed. Now, for those of you that have been following along for a while, you'll know that I actually started FPV drones by designing my own frames and 3D printing them. So it's going to be really fun to just get back to where I started and to see how far I've come since then. Because, man, I have made huge strides in the skill level, just the knowledge base since those days. And that was like two years ago now. So it's been quite a while. So look forward to that. And also at some point in the near future here, maybe once I get a little bit bigger following, I do plan to release my own carbon fiber frame design. Um, I just think that'll be a really fun challenge for me because I already know how to design these things. I've done it before with 3D printed stuff. I just wanna make it a little bit more official. And I wanna do that because there's so many frames out there that don't address my main concerns which are one, durability, and two, ease of building. Like it's, I don't like the frames that are just so crammed together. That's just, it's stupid to be honest. And some frames out there that are a little bit better, I know are the Demibots. One of my buddies flies that, that's Bot Grinder's frame. That is quite a bit better in terms of buildability. It's a little bit bigger, it's wider, it's not so crammed. So I wanna take inspiration a little bit from that and also a little bit from Chris Rosser. He's the guy that made the AOS frame. Now that frame, instead of having the one little toothpick arm, it's got like two forks off of it. And the main thing that he was trying to address mainly is the tuning, because it makes it a lot stiffer. Now I want it for also the tuning, but in addition to that, the durability, because it's going to be a lot stronger if you have two pieces attaching instead of one. Without further ado, let's get to some flying. So today we're rocking with this like vertical selfie cam thing. I'm just gonna throw it on the side as you guys have seen. I really do love this spot. It's just, it's just fun. It's nice to flow in. I can't believe I haven't been back here sooner. Ah. I'm trying to work on my trippy entries. I've been watching a lot of Bubby FPV and man, his entries are so smooth. So I've been trying to replicate that a little bit. Dude's good. That was a good wall ride. That was really good. The secret really with those is throttle control. Because it's really easy to, when you're doing one, come off the wall if you're not careful on the throttle. You really gotta slam that throttle closed as soon as you get backwards, otherwise you just drift away from the wall and notice. Ah. 
All right, let's bring her in. So ever since I switched to Express LRS, I have had no radio issues. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what happens when I try and talk and fly at the same time. It just doesn't end well. Yes. Ah, that was terrible. I really want to go down there, but that's, ooh, that's really tight. I don't know if I can hit that. Go up from here. Uh, maybe I can hit that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to try that. I can hit it slow, but not with any amount of speed. Ooh, kind of flinched there. Dang, that would have been cool. Yeah, that's that's hard to get a cool entry into a trippy. That's really hard. I think that'll be my next thing I practice. All right, so I just want to chat a little bit about some of the arm protectors I have right now. So these are these are TPU. I had a guy print those for me on this side, and then on this side I got my own design, PETG. But what I like about these is it has this nice wide area in here to fit the screws. So that means you can put a washer in there, but it just clamps over a much wider area and it doesn't cut up the material. I do wanna have this style made in TPU also because I think that'd be really useful, but I was just trying these out. So it's half and half right now. For those that don't know, I still fly 4S. As you can see, my style's kind of twitchy these days, so uh, you definitely don't need 6S. So all you people that rely on that power, you really don't need it. And my motors aren't even that crazy. They're like 20, 2200 kV, I want to say. I chose that so that I can move to 6S if I want to in the future. It's not quite high enough to really burn them out that much. And it's not too low so that when I do use 4S, it's super underpowered. So don't think that you just need to have crazy amounts of power. That's not gonna make you better. It's really not. Practice makes you better. Gear does not make you better. So many people in this hobby that are obsessed with gear, but they don't spend any of that time flying. They spend it working on gear. Gear only gets you so far. But I will say my throttle control, I've really been working on that a lot lately. And I do have a video on that. Uh, so if you wanna click the link up above, watch that video. Because if you're struggling with um, ending up really high in your maneuvers, like power loops especially. Some of the tips in there are, they really are useful. So check that video out. All right, I wanna talk about something else that I'm sure I'm gonna get cooked for in the comments. What's all the hype with HD Zero? I mean, seriously. It doesn't look like any better than this analog feed right now. What's the hype, really? Is it latency? Because what's wrong with the latency of this? 
I couldn't give you a hard number of what this is, but it's not high. And I guarantee the average pilot is not gonna be able to tell a difference. Because in this hobby, the last thing we wanna do is make it more expensive and increase the barrier to entry for beginners. Because guess what, beginners and noobs, those are the people that we need if we want a future. It's not people like me, old crusty YouTube idiots. It's the beginners. We gotta make it attractive. So why are we pushing this new expensive stuff so quick? If you wanna push something expensive, I'm gonna get cooked for this too. <laughs> push the O3 air unit. That thing is incredible. And the tech is only gonna get better in the future. Yeah, the latency is there, but again, I seriously doubt the average pilot can tell the difference. I really believe that. I don't think they can. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I have more of the vlog style video stuff in my 30 day challenge playlist. I'm gonna throw a little flight edit here at the end too for you guys to enjoy. But until next time, hit that like button down below if you like the video. Please consider subscribing. It really helps me out, grows my channel, and feel free to leave me a comment. Enjoy the flight edit. You don't know what I've been through, so I don't want you to judge me Still don't know if I believe there's anything above me I've been over so long, wanna feel something Looking at me, I don't like who I'm becoming I don't know my place, I don't lost my way But I won't break I don't know my place, I don't lost my Know how to circle out, know how to move when they doubt Know what to choose when I'm moving around Say you through with the clowns, but you still fucking round with them Every now and then in my DM, see the different cars I be in Most of the time I just be with them once and don't call them again But for you I play it safe, don't know why I ain't used to using brakes Once I close the door you can't escape Putting KK in a plane, different strains Got a feeling different things, niggas talk still ain't the gang I like bigger planes, Last is a gym, bottles of champagne, diamond chains, bitches know my name. Is you leaving or stand?